Okay, I'm going to demonstrate this re oxygen sensor retreader tool. Got it on eBay, I don't know, five, six bucks, seven dollars. And I'm going to retread the hole for the oxygen center, sensor. So I'm just going to demonstrate this so that maybe others might have luck. I've never done it. This is my first attempt, so I'm going to do step by step. Okay, so anyways. Here's the car I'm working on. It's really irrelevant as to what car it is. I think this is just kind of a universal procedure. So let me um, start with taking this out. And also here is the opening for the oxygen sensor. I'm gonna scrape it down first, clean the head of the top of that opening, and then um, and then I'll demonstrate the other part, okay? So I'll get right back to you. Besides, this car is only a kind of a project car, a car that my kids tend to borrow when their cars break down. So I'm gonna spray some of this here. I hope that doesn't affect anything. <laughs> Shoot, I'm getting it all over the stupid camera. So I'm gonna let that penetrate for maybe a couple minutes or so. Okay, I'm also gonna spray the, the tool itself. this a little bit here and then let's see if I can grab this thing let's see if I can put this in the opening here get it started okay I'm gonna get it started so I got it started maybe a couple of revolutions there and let me get an extension. Nice to know somebody who knows what they're doing with cars. But as you can see, I'm here by myself. So let me see, I'm gonna turn it as much as I can. I put two or three extensions on here. And it seems to be going in pretty smooth, actually. Um, and then I was told that when it gets st stuck, or doesn't move, I'm supposed to back off on it. So I'm gonna back off a little bit. And then I'm gonna go forward again. Tighten it up. And let's back up a little bit again. Okay, then let's go forward again. There we go. Now I can see it's pretty much flush. So now I can back up. Let's back out. And I'm just gonna take this ratchet off and see if I can do it by hand. Yep. Let's see what happens. I wonder if I should put a vacuum cleaner nozzle in there so I can vacuum any um, shavings. Okay. Well, it's coming out clean so far. Alrighty. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, it looks okay, I think. And let's take a look at that. Let's see if I can get this stupid thing down there. Well, I don't know, what do you think? It's kind of hard to shove a camera down there. Well, I guess the true test will be is to pop in. You know what I'll do is I will put the, the other oxygen sensor in that hole, the one that came out clean. So let me go get it. Okay, so I'm gonna Put the bad sensor into the hole that I just retreaded. Let's see how this one goes. 
Yeah, I think I got it in there now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's in there. So you guys, I bought this one right here, this oxygen sensor removal um, socket, and you can notice it's got a big gap on it. Because it had a big gap, it caused this for me to strip this, and you can see where it stripped it out. It was a heck of a time. So I went to the auto parts store and bought this one and the representative there brought it to my attention that the gap is much smaller and I might have better luck with it. He said I should take this one back but it's not worth going all the way back just to get a refund. Maybe somebody else can use it. So anyways, food for thought. If you're going to get an oxygen sensor tool socket, get one that has a narrow opening versus the wide opening. And this is what happened when I used the wide opening. It stripped it out. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you as well. Thanks for watching.